Welcome again to Getting Started with LT Spice. This is the seventh video. We're going to design our own model for a potentiometer. Now, a model consists of a schematic and a symbol saved together with the same name. The circuit that you're looking at here is actually a uh, volunteer project that I did to design a 555 timer based uh, introductory soldering kit. And now, anytime I can, I'd like to provide simulations so that there is a visual for what the circuit should be doing. But in this case, um, I'm a little bit troubled by the fact that LT Spice does not have a model for a potentiometer, which really doesn't matter because you can just model it as a resistor anyway. But when you're giving something to new users, they want to be able to, I want them to be able to see the actual circuit symbol for a potentiometer and know that this component is not the same as this. So since I do want to change R4 to potentiometer, we're going to design our own uh, potentiometer for that. So to do that, we first need a, a schematic. This schematic is going to be um, the circuit representation of a potentiometer, which is just two resistors. A potentiometer is just a, a voltage divider. So connect these up. I don't like the way this looks. Okay. Now this is going to be uh, node 1, 2, and 3. So just like the potentiometer has three slots for you to connect to, we have to design it the same way. So we're going to label this node as 1, put it down. This will be two, this will be three. I want these to be the same length. Okay. Now we want our value for our symbol to be flexible just like the regular resistor is. So in the previous section there was um, a tutorial on dot commands and one of those included params, which is parameters. So we're actually going to parameterize R1 and R2. So we're going to say this is our top, and the curly bracket is how LT Spice knows that it's a parameter. So we're going to do a curly bracket. This one will label RB for our bottom. And now we're going to lay down our Spice directive to specify how we want these parameters to be defined. So let's say dot param first parameter is RT is equal to the resistance, so if our, our potentiometer uh, has a resistance of 10K, but we're going to leave this open so that um, if I wanted to go back and see how the same circuit behaves with a 1 mega ohm resistor, I can. And this is going to be multiplied by some value which will represent how much the potentiometer is turned or um, a percentage of how much it is turned. And do a new line, hit control M, set up the parameter for the second, which is dot param, r bottom, is equal to one minus the top. So we'll say r multiplied by one minus So if one percentage is 50, the other will be 50. If one percentage is 25, the other will be 75. So that's how you know you've done it correctly. I'm going to place that down. Let's go ahead and save this as my pot. And now we need a symbol for it. Now we could go and do it from scratch, but since this is a resistor, let's go ahead and pull up a resistor um, symbol that already exists and just modify it a little bit. So I'm going to go to open, change from schematics to symbols, and I'm actually going to pull up LT Spice uh, default symbols. So we'll go to program files, LT Spice, libraries, symbols, 
Then we are going to look for resistor. is here. So we don't need these. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of them. And the blue boxes is a port and pin. So we'll just go ahead and delete that because we'll have our own. I do want to delete this line. And I'll leave that line. Okay. So to edit the symbol, we're going to go to draw line. And I'm just going to extend this a little bit so that it looks more like a standard resist or potentiometer symbol. And of course we need the little arrow. I don't like it when they don't line up. Okay, and then we'll go here and here. So now we want this top portion to correlate to pin one this one to correlate to pin 2, and this to correlate to pin 3. So what we're going to do is edit add pin port. Now the hotkey for that is just the letter P. So we'll go to add pin port the first time, but for the rest of the time we'll just hit P. So label, this will be 1. We'll place it here. Hit P. Label is 2. P again. This label is 3. We'll place it here. Now what we want to do is edit the attributes because this is going to have the attributes of a resistor. And this isn't a resistor, it's a potentiometer. So we'll go to edit, attributes, edit attributes. Definitely want to just delete this prefix because it is not um, for R. It should be you know, like a P for potentiometer, but I'm actually going to leave this blank and give it, um, it'll automatically generate instance called X1. And the more that you lay down would be X2, X3. And then change the description from a resistor to a potentiometer. Now we need to go to spice lengths. Remember we had those parameters. We had both R and Val. So in this case we want R to equal 10K. And let's just set Val equal to 50 for now. So this is like having the potentiometer right in the middle um, between min and max and uh, we'll verify that, and that this is the correct operation. So say OK. Now I want, it, I want a name to be put down, you know, like I said, x1, x2. In order to do that, you go to Attributes, Attribute Window, Inst Name, OK. And now we'll get that Inst Name um, when we place one down in a schematic. Now this is still Resistor Assembly, so we want to save as, and we want to save it as my pot, which is the same name as your schematic, and you want to save it in the same place as your schematic. Okay, so now let's pull up a new circuit. We'll build something really quick to make sure this is op this is that this is behaving the way that a potentiometer behaves, and then we'll add it into the 555 timer circuit. So we'll go new schematic. Now you go place component, and you want to be in the folder that you saved your schematic and symbol to. So here's my symbol. And I'll add a voltage. And I don't like this arrow pointing in, so I'm actually going to mirror this. There we go. Put down a couple grounds. Wire this up. And we, in order to probe this, we need to add a little wire there as well. Move this name over. So right click on the potentiometer and click params. That way you, you can readily uh, edit them. And we'll just move this over. Let's make this 5 volts. That way when, uh, with a value of 50, we know that the output here should be 2.5 volts. And we'll just verify that. So we'll just do a transient analysis. We'll stop it at one second. Get rid of all of this. Oh wait, no, we want to keep that. So.
So we have a voltage source at 5 volts. We have a potentiometer that has the knob right in the middle. So this should say 2.5 volts. Let's go ahead and plot that. And it's 2.5 volts. So we know that this is operating correctly. So why don't we bring this down to, let's say, 10. Now we should be at about, I think, 4.5. Yep, 4.5. So perfect. It's working exactly the way we'd want it to. So let's go ahead and add it into the schematic. So we'll go to 555. We'll remove this. Add a part. We'll go to the same folder where it's saved. So in this circuit, the um, potentiometer is just going to dictate the duty cycle of these two LEDs. Let's go ahead and sim it and make sure that it's working properly. And it is. Now if you wanted to change the value, you, do, you can just right click it and change it from here. So maybe we'll change it to 100k and we'll change this value to um, 75 and there you can see the duty cycle is much more noticeably different so this LED will be on much longer than this one is on All right and that's it for building your own uh, model in LD spice